So there's no sparks in that whip that could detonate everything? Apparently not. They never really do go into the, uh, exactly what it is. Well, they don't need to. You know. It's just science. It uses the force. Some of the Jedi were a lot more hardcore than the ones they show in the movies. <laughs> they were really into like, you know, kicking kick you know, kicking people into engines and cacti and whatnot. Ain't that the truth. Impaling them on rebar. Jesus. I know. The other half's not dead, though. Yeah, that's true. And actually, considering... Actually, the, the machine part of him is actually... You know, the more ruthlessly de dedicated to its own survival than the living part. <laughs> no, it is, because remember, it's like... Whenever he's getting, like, super, you know, vicious and brutal because there's some sort of danger, that's because the AI's taken over. Right. Regular... Regular Ishii's not like that. Not as much like that. No. He still well, regular up. regular Ishii is is regular Ishii is simply a reasonable man who's been ex who's who's forced to deal with years of Gray's bullshit. You know. Right. He's you know so he's not he's not a uh, he's not an AI killing machine. But really, who of us who among us are? Well, none. I would hope. I mean, that, I don't think that technology exists in the real world. Although we may have just offended the entire military AI demographic now. I'm sure. Sorry, right. Skynet. Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> I hope you're happy. Okay. So the reactor detonating would cause the bomb to go off, but... That's what they said, which... I, I um... Which... I, I hate to upset anyone who was... Thought this was, you know... Impressed by the rigorous realism of the Bullet Storm universe up to now, but fusion reactors really can't explode. <laughs> I mean, not not in the way anything like the way they're portrayed. Cause, I mean, causing nuclear fusion is really hard. Like, yeah. I mean, the only the only time it happens in nature is when you've got the gravity of a star, cr you know, crushing matter together. So it's actually really hard. And if you break, like, if you break the the containment on a fusion reactor. It won't cause the the fusion won't run out of control or anything. It'll just stop. So it's not like in Spider-Man. Sadly, no. Or the Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh man. Most people have forgotten most things about the Dark Knight Rises by now, I'd imagine. Well, that was a little harsh, but. No, I'm constantly reminded eh. of Bane and. Bane quotes oh well, yeah, okay, time. yeah. Well, everyone remembers Bane. No one remembers anything about the plot of that movie because no one cared about the plot of that movie. Uh, I remember the lady having the worst death scene ever. I can tell how deeply invested you were in her character that you called her just that the lady. Okay, well, she was Talia Al Ghul. I'm not Chris. I'm not complaining. I'm just. <laughs> it was merely an observation, not a criticism. <laughs> I don't remember what her character's name was. Yeah, she was Rachel Ghul's daughter or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't Talia. Because that would have just been a dead giveaway. Here's another one of these big guys. Alright. Damn. <clears throat> I mean, like, if a fusion reactor, like, breached open, you might get some. You get some release. You get a release of some, you know, high temperature gas and whatnot. But it wouldn't. It, it, it wouldn't like. Ex it wouldn't like explode like a Star Trek warp core or whatever. Thank God, I am not accustomed to mission success. Yeah. Do you ever wonder what uh, meat grilled with just pure electricity would taste like? 
I can't really say I have, no. I was just watching that, uh, <laughs> that monster get electrocuted. Yeah. And I was just like, I wonder what a steak just tased till it was cooked would taste like. Oh, check it out, here it is. The DNA bomb. Big, yeah. but not all that big for something that can apparently depopulate a planet. It really seems like you're invested in getting this thing deactivated. Well, yeah, you're kind of on the planet with it, so. No, I mean, you were like... Oh! Alright. Game? Well, Serrano wrote that code, if that's what you're referring to. We've been betrayed, Nick. Shock. No, we were just... They just want to... He wanted to use the DNA bomb to just wipe the whole planet clean, and he used us to get access to it. So is is it not working now? What the bomb? Yeah, it's counting down. It's counting down now. He was lying. He said, you know, he said it was armed and we had to disarm it. He, I mean, he was lying. It was actually already it was disarmed. We had to go arm it. And now it's 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 on a countdown because Serrano still needs to get off planet. Wah, wah. Yep. I could jump that, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I I'd need a jump button first, but... Slag is a very tame word for all the ones he's been using. But, well, maybe this ray of hope they've been shown has softened his heart a little. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a time. Oh. It was not on fire last time. No xenomorphs. Trishka, Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> what am I, some Sally Buttercup? I'm a goddamn Final Echo Squadron commander. I caught a power line. Now come on, this is falling apart. Let's go. She's not really a machine, so she's not quite a Deus Ex Machina. Well, if you're gonna be a stickler, I, I am gonna be a stickler. Right. Act Seven, Chapter One. Ugh. That thing is leaving without us. Thanks for sharing, Greg. Sometimes a man gets scared. I ain't too proud to deny it. Picked up chatter. Jump ships headed towards spaceport. Perfect. Let's go. I'm feeling all murdery. Let's 
Hmm. So wait, why is stuff falling apart? The building, she mentioned. Remember, the, 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 the rack of the Ulysses is partly resting on a building. Oh, I see. Ishii mentioned it earlier. Right. Yeah, she mentioned it earlier, but it's... The wreck is at least partly resting on a damaged building. Um, way down. <laughs> We're off to the spaceport where the uh, rescue ship awaits. I recall getting, you know, getting getting aboard that ship was the whole reason we set off after Serrano in the first place way back when. Right. That, that's why Ishii was so insistent that Gray not kill General Serrano. Vacation resort built on the back of indentured colonial servants. Pretty bad ideas, it turns out. The morons who made it threw around the term foolproof a good bit. I guess that's the lesson. Don't call stuff foolproof. Generally not a good idea. It's like it's like proclaiming your ship unsinkable. It's just asking for trouble. I'm pretty sure I've got a death coming. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've got a death coming up fairly soon. Yeah, seems like it. You can just tell by how poorly I'm playing. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. Yeah, I remember this ending poorly. <laughs> Too bad. No, not yet. Maybe it's a little further along. Yeah, now there, like I said, the uh, various various uh, factions on this planet that have been fighting each other for some time now. Now they're really going at it. Well, you know, it makes you wonder. There we go. Yeah, there you got me. How they know about the bomb? I'm not sure if they know about the bomb or if they just know that if they just if they just noticed the uh, the ship falling apart. The rescue ship. The rescue ship. I mean. Oh yeah. That might get them all antsied up. All right. Let's give this another try. An easy distraction. I, I try to use the bouncy ball weapon here without a whole lot of success. Oh, there it, you know, it looks like a good spot for it, but I guess, I don't know, maybe they're not group right. Or maybe you just have to be good at the game. 